Perhaps you shouldn't be surprised if it bites you. The poet should not be merely a stream of passage between the source that is life and the outlet that is poetry. The poet should take a more active role in which he envisages life not as an influence upon the soul, but the soul as an influence upon life. The task of the poet is to take the universe apart, to reintegrate it with his own vitality. And it is this reintegrated universe that will in turn possess him, give him rest. If this voyage reveals a futility, then it is a futility worth facing. Laura Riding. Miss Riding, welcome to World's End. <laughs> you must be Nancy. Oh, England, the land of Byron, Keats, Shelley, Mary Shelley, that is. <laughs> Why do you paint? Why do you write? Well, this talented husband of yours must write again. I have to say, your letters inspired me. As did your poems. <sighs> Measure me by myself, not by time or love or space or beauty that I may be on my low stone, a gauge unto myself alone. I would have these old faiths fall to, to prove, prove that, that I, I was not nothing, nothing at all. At all. Yeah. <laughs> England, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> oh, hello. Come in, come and introduce yourself. Um, Laura, this is our daughter, Catherine Nicholson. Hello. What a handsome young child she is, just like her mother and father. Why do you wear those? Do you not like my necklaces? They're a lot. <laughs> well, Catherine, it is very important to be completely oneself. Many people don't know everything about themselves, and therefore they do not light up everything around them. We need a plan. Collaborate with me on my next book. Dear, yeah, that Catherine gets to see the world through Laura's eyes. And she will live here at World's End? Where else? And how will you instruct my grand Christ? We all must. Ideas about proper religious instruction. Of course. Uh, Miss Riding, I'm intrigued. <laughs> well, I've been interested in a survey of the recent poetry movement. I think it's about time we put those so called modernist poets in their place. What do you think, Robert? I think it'll be very interesting. I think you said the tea line with unwanted children. It... Miss Riding, I apologize for. I should say, I'm very grateful to be here. And of course, Catherine's well being and education is very important. I'll make sure to spend time with both of them equally. Well, as Robbie to get published and perhaps his financial position will have to say. A maid and a tutor are. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Two, three, four, five. Good. Keep going. Yes, spin, 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 spin. She's mad. Good morning. Oh, did we wake you? Yes. Just having so much fun. I hope you don't mind. I, I woke up with so much energy that I took a walk, and I thought I would make an authentic New York breakfast. My word. Oh, <laughs> the things that you have here. This is marvelous. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Let's pretend we are on Delancey Street in the Lower East Side. And what happens on the Lower East Side? Well, it's a place that very few people I believe. There are cramped buildings and crowd-built streets with hard-working immigrants, vibrant artistic community, mm. Yiddish theater, poetry, artists portraying the truth. Mm. The truth is what matters, as do these divine potato pancakes. <laughs> now eat before it gets cold. Well, I, for one, haven't had such stimulating company for a long time, so thank you. Mm. <laughs> Laura, we read your poetry again mm. last night, myself and Nancy, and um, with your permission, I'd like to send your work to uh, Virginia and Leonard Wolf, who I'm hoping in turn will publish it in their Hogarth Press. <laughs> My goodness, it seems you silenced his writing. <laughs> <laughs> These kind words from a poet like your husband, I just... Ah, well. just 
Well, here's to a long, prosperous, beautiful partnership. Mm. Here's her. Hmm. Laura, you have too much, too much paint on your brush, so you need to paint from the top down. You know, if we were in London, oh. we could be in a newly furnished and freshly painted house. Yes, but we're not in London, and I'd very much like to get this finished before dinner so that we can move the bed back. We could put it back later. And where would you sleep, pray? No. No. <laughs> you said paint from the top down. <laughs> right. Right. No! 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 What are you doing? I know. You said you could do that. Get out of here. No! Get out of here. No! Get out of You have such beautiful skin. Oh, do I? Why should we want to do this? Well, you can always take it off if you don't like it. <laughs> Jewish girls like me are always at the bottom of the pile. Being a Pole sunk me even further. Some people's opinions will simply never change. <laughs> you can put on the beautiful makeup, the clothes, the jewelry, and none of it matters. <laughs> Unlike you and Robert, my work is always cut out for me. There. Well. Hello. Don't you two make a fine pair? <clears throat> Doesn't she look lovely? Yes. Right, well, we are going shopping, are we not? Indeed. Uh, I've, uh, I've fixed lunch. Keep your father out of trouble. Bye. Save some. I love that you kept your maiden name. <laughs> I'm sure I know the answer. 
but for fun. How did Robert's parents take it? Oh, really well. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing his mother has never forgiven me for, though, is that Catherine took my surname, mm. Nicholson. Women will change the world for the better. Mm, I tend to agree. We need to issue a universal call to women. Reassert our power as a source more meaningful than man. More meaningful than God. brought you some tea. poetry to you. True poetry makes the ass stand on it. Eyes wood, throat constrict, and a shiver run down your spine. Sit with me. Stress. 
rest had now begun.